We'll do it in one take. <laughs> just to do one take? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to put it out today? Just yeah. quick turnaround? We got it because we're already late. Yeah. It's already Sunday and we still have to film it. Oh boy. And edit it and post it. Yeah. So Usually it's done by like midnight, Saturday night, you know, Sunday yeah. morning. But. So we're just going to like run through it, try to do very little editing, just put it out as it is. Yeah. And see what comes out. All right. Let's make it perfect. <laughs> All right. Go. It has to be perfect. No perfect. mess ups. Uh-oh. I mean, Pressure's we're on. We're always perfect at this. <laughs> no. There's never any edits. <laughs> mm, yeah. That's what we like people to believe. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to our next episode of Prog Song Sunday. This is the show where we listen to a classic or modern prog song that Jana hasn't heard. Hi. And Jana's here with us. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> the pressure's on. <laughs> I can't mess up, but I already kind of have. No, it's fine. But yeah, we just we shuffle We're into shuffle. a cool prog song and listen to it together and get Jana's thoughts on it in particular as a new listener. So. <laughs> They're always so valuable. <laughs> we'll see what we get to. <laughs> All today. right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Shuffle. Shuffle the song. Oh, Porcupine Tree. That's kind of cool. I don't know. That's what's that guy? Stephen Wilson. Yeah, him. Yeah, this is a classic Porcupine Tree track called Porcupine Tree. <laughs> Porcupine Tree track uh, <laughs> called Trains <laughs> from In Absentia. This is a really nice choice, I think. So yeah, let's Yay. put it into our How list. Long is it? It's six minutes. Oh, So I think we can perfect. do that. You'll enjoy Love this, it. I hope. So yeah, I don't remember. Have we done... I know we've done some Stephen Wilson. Oh. I can't remember if we've done a Porcupine Tree song yet. I have no idea. We'll have to rely on the, the comments to correct me. <laughs> but I, nothing's coming immediately to mind. But I know we've done some Stephen Wilson stuff from like Can't Cannot Erase. <gasps> we did that one about... That sad one. Yeah, we did do a sad one. I can't remember. Yeah, it was called Routine, I believe. Yeah. So, but we'll see. Yeah, I, let's get into some Porcupine Tree. I think this is a nice, pleasant song. So, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, is, okay, is newer, so newer, right? Yeah, newer, and I mean, it's now like, what, over 20 years old now, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, in the old person. Yeah, that's 2002, fine. so. That just seems like yesterday. So. <laughs> yeah, it's when I was first getting into Prague when I was like high school aged. So, okay, <laughs> I feel like I'm giving away a lot of my age and how old I am. But okay, it's because it's your birthday almost. I guess so. All right, ready to listen to this? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right, trains. Trains by Porcupine Tree. <laughs> Set and much spite under the blind. Shiny and contoured, the railway winds. And I've heard the sound from my cousin's bed, the hiss of the train.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was very proggy. Yeah. Um, maybe the only like thing that made it like more prog like to me, um, who remember knows very little about prog. Yeah. Is that um that it changed sounds like halfway through and then again like a couple minutes later and so there was a right. lot of different sounding passages. So it was like this little like tiny mini epic in six minutes. Right. Great. Um, <laughs> but it, it was, uh, I, I liked it a lot. It just sounded like a really cool rock song, you know? Yeah, it's, for it, sure. it, it, um, it, it started out, it started out as like the really cool rock song, you know? It uh-huh. was like a little softer than the, you know, all the band came in and everything. Right. And then about halfway through, it changed sounds. And, and then it had that, um, that, Hand yeah, hand you know? I almost want to say there's like a called. mandolin or something in the mix. Yeah. Like there's a different kind of instrumentation. There's a different sound entirely yeah. using different different instruments, different ways of percussion. And just um, it was it was really cool. And then got a little heavier again. And then it ended with that like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> but really cool. Um, I, I going into it, I was thinking like. Train like because I'm a lot about imagery and so uh-huh. thinking about trains and like that you're waiting for the train and and I'm thinking like chug it chug it chug it chug it chug it chug it, <laughs> chug it like that kind of train but yeah. then I realized that's like so antiquated so ancient and like just like that's not what trains are anymore <laughs> 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 and there was a moment where it almost sounded like like a like a modern air whoosh okay. <laughs> Interesting. Like, like a train yeah. is coming in, like, right. you know, and it sounds very, like, just more, um, you know, it's it's not a chugga chugga. It's a, it's a, like a monorail. A more modern. You know? Yeah. More <laughs> modern. Modern whoosh. sound. And so that just, like, kind of flipped how I was thinking, like, this is not <laughs> that kind of chain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I... <laughs> really like this piece a lot. I, this is kind of the signature Porcupine Tree song because yeah. this is the one that everyone really loves and that they always have to That's play at great. their concerts. You know, it's a really popular uh, pick. And I agree that it's interesting that one of their biggest songs is one of their least progressive songs, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, there's different elements, like you're mentioning, that are progressive to me. But part of what I think appealed to me about this is this was when I was first getting into Prague when I heard this, but I was also really into just modern rock at the time and mm-hmm. classic rock and, you know, different types of sounds of rock. And so this was really familiar to me in a way, but had enough of a unique signature and stamp that I was like, oh, this is cool, though. There's something a little bit different and cool, but it was familiar at the same time. And I just think the like production is just so stellar. It just sounds clean oh, and yeah. clear and crisp. Especially at that time, it was just like really mind blowing production values. And the whole album is that way to me. Like, it's 
really blending that alternative rock style but with a mm-hmm. proggy twist to it and it really captured my ear at the time and just sounded so pristine and so like just really nice to my ears just like ear candy or something so and this track is just a beautiful one it's the second track on the album and i just have always been in love with it just the sound of it the cleanness of the yeah. like acoustic guitars and the voices and the harmonies sounds great and i love how it kind of switches to like that more laid back acoustic style and then it the band kicks in and there's a more heavier portion mm-hmm. as well so it's a cool balance and just a really pleasant well-written song that i think could widely appeal to anybody i could feel like i could play this for anybody who's familiar with any kind of rock or modern rock music and they could enjoy it <laughs> yeah anybody who likes music should like this song. it's not just so. out there bizarre prog stuff that people no. it's gonna be way over people's heads you know this is just a really pleasant song but with enough you know cool uh unique stuff to make it its own so yeah Yay. great song yay we did it we did it one take one take <laughs> we'll just keep all that in maybe yeah probably <laughs> but yeah so wrap let, us up let us know in the comments how you feel about this track or about any porcupine tree stuff any recommendations for future porcupine tree songs to react to i know there's quite a bit in our shuffle already but mm. always open to add this more is our choices first one? i think so wow. i i might be corrected but it's not coming to That's mind fine. <laughs> we don't have to know everything all the time. Yeah. You know, so, we've been doing this, like, what, over two, two years, years now? So there's quite yeah. a lot to We're think about. We're bound to have lapses in memory yeah. and every now and then. It happens. We're but, getting old. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys for listening and for joining us. And keep enjoying the music out there. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Subscribe. We'd appreciate it. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.